right, everybody. We've got a fun one today. This is one I've been planning, buying lots of parts for for a long time. In this video, we're going to be replacing the ESC, the motor, the motor mount, the pinion, modifying this box, and possibly doing wheels. Let's get right into it. This is going to be awesome. Before we go any farther, we've got this 3660, 2600 kV motor. I went with 2600 kV because I was thinking, hey, we can still run 3S pretty good and go up to 4S. Got this Bluetooth 120 amp ESC C10. Oh, it's made by uh, XC, XC. I've heard some pretty decent things about this ESC. It does seem to be decent build quality. And I do like that it's tunable via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So we'll give it a shot. I know it's not a castle or anything like that, but it should still be pretty good. It wasn't super cheap. It is waterproof. Waterproof. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's start by removing this stock ESC motor and all that. We're going to go ahead and remove this tie down right here first. So the goal of this is to try and get the new ESC to fit in the stock location. I'm not 100% sure that'll work. and I'm not even 100% sure that that's what I want to do. Because if I want to go to a bigger battery in the future, especially if I go 4S, I will need to go to a bigger battery to get any kind of decent runtime. Um, I'll have to take it off and move it anyways. So to fit this 3660 motor, I do have a 3D printed receiver box. I don't think it'll fit with a stock box here. And a 3D printed box should be just fine. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. We'll just have to dig into it and see how it goes. And see how the, the mounting situation for the servo and all that goes as well. All right, let's go. If it's not clear, I haven't completely tore down the Terminator just yet. As a matter of fact, I think I might have eight hours on it, ten hours on the drivetrain. 
So we're learning together. Now, unless you've done this before, then you know. You're ahead of me. This, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there. This is the part you're really worried about, this guy right here. Oh yeah, that dude's chunky. This bottle of Loctite from 1964. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's what it looks like. That's what anything looks like living inside of a woodworking shop. We're just gonna give it the littlest kiss. All right, with this new motor, we're also gonna go ahead and throw on the speed pinion. I mean, why not? That really was awesome, Rolarlo. Thank you for uh, all the upgraded parts and the opportunity to buy them rather than having to third party them. That's the thing about manufacturers. If they offer their own parts, man, people's gonna buy them up rather than some third party making them, them being half the quality and then somebody else profiting off of that. So. Brilliant business move. Love it. Love to see it. Check out the size difference in that motor. It's noticeable. It's slightly noticeable. It's good stuff. Always good to get some degreaser. I noticed these, these bolts were exceptionally dirty. Let's clean those off with a little degreaser. Before applying your Loctite. It's good practice. All right, let's set that mesh. Bam. 
barely hear it. Got a problem. More so user error than I would say a problem. Operator error, rather. I clocked my motor just a little too far. All right. Guess we're gonna have to backtrack. Make sure I can get this thing on. Hey, that's more better. Okay, we uh, we got our print done just in time. Printed this out of PETG uh, on the Creality K1C. It came out great. It took no time to print i think it was 10 minutes and it is a perfect fit they used just a little bit of supports probably didn't even need to have it that k1c does great with overhangs servo fits absolutely fantastic in it and this thing fits wonderfully even these uh pegs here these alignment pegs they fit perfectly Love it when stuff like that works out. If you do this kind of stuff, drones, RC, anything like that, man, get a 3D printer. You got to get a 3D printer. When I tell you it comes in clutch, I mean every bit of that. So that's something that I would have had to order or whatever else. Yeah, there's those two 3D printed pegs and they fit great. They're actually a little close together, which is perfect because it creates a little positive action for it to hold on to. Everything lines up wonderfully. I will leave that STL in the description. Yeah, buddy, we're going to set this guy to the side for just a second. We're going to get out our helping hands. We're going to do some soldering. The CSC gives you the option of putting whichever uh, terminating end you want on it. I happen to have a genuine AMAS. A mass. AMAS. I got this good style connector. have the got the ESC done got the 3d printed mount that rides on top of that done and apparently I didn't even realize this but it utilizes these two stock holes and the original mount clip so that's cool This guy right here, it's absolutely huge. Great for cooling, but uh, not sure that's gonna fit in. Not sure that's gonna fit inside the chassis. It very well may.
All right, got everything buttoned up. Looking a little bit better now with the wiring and all that. But came out fairly clean. I did have to move this ESC forward just a little bit to clear the body. That's right where it likes to curve, but it came out good. Let's take this thing out for a rip. Okay. All right. Let's see how this thing does. Oh yeah, the delay is great. There's hardly any. That motor, man. That motor does good. Oh yeah. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you don't mind, hit that like button on the way out. See you in the next one.